what would you leave somebody with if, if you had like the next you know couple minutes to say one thing to somebody and and you'll never see them again what would be the the one thing that you say besides the gospel all right because i know that that yeah. is like that's the number one but like what what would you leave somebody with yeah i'd have to go with explaining um that when there is a christian in your life who is actively trying to influence you convert you change you however you want to look at it um you have to know that that's the most loving thing that they can possibly do for you and to take it any other way would almost be an insult to them and it would be a disservice to you um what i've realized growing up around a lot of people and and becoming a christian in, in 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 a place where nobody really was a christian and people were very much you know into crazy things let alone just the suit you know the the new age stuff um I've realized that most people look at Christians trying to convert them as an insult and as like, they're looking down on you or they're judging you. And I, and I'd have to say to them, like the most loving thing that, that a Christian can do for you is invite you to church, pray for you, ask you to, you know, ask you to join them, like talk to you about God. Like that's, that's our love language. So, um, as a Hispanic Christian conservative, I would say, (laughs) um, respect their love language, man respect the love language of these Christians. And, um, you know, it doesn't mean you have to believe what they believe. Um, but listen to them because they care for you. 